Want to know the only way to control your mind? Well, it is nothing but your intelligence. Only our own intelligence can control the mind for good. The stronger and sharper your intelligence becomes, the more profoundly you will be able to guide and steer your mind. As of now, our intelligence is still rudimentary and unsophisticated, which is why it succumbs to the whims and futile fetishes of the mind every now and then. So it's of paramount importance to not let our intelligence degenerate, for it is the only leash that can help control the mind effectively. Thinking about all the foolish, insane, nonsensical and irrational things all the time has to stop, which has contributed to weakening and deteriorating our intelligence. The result is that our minds have taken undue advantage of this. I feel like driving, I feel like drinking and then I'm gonna impress my friends with my insane driving skills. People do such crazy things because their minds have overpowered their intelligence. It is imperative for such people to elevate their intelligence to put a leash on their wild minds. An intelligent person will have the power to control the mind's wonkiness and do what's right for him and society. Folks who can't control their minds are not only a threat to themselves but also to the whole society. The world will feed you with the information the way it always had. That kind that suits your old habits to make you feel good, hindering you from growing. Now it's up to you. You gotta choose the right source of information you wanna intake in order to change your habits accordingly. This will mark the beginning of your transformation. And the best part is that as you see your own self transforming into something better, the happiness and joy you are gonna experience witnessing it will be a thousand times more powerful than what you're gonna get from those nasty little pleasures you keep running after all your life. An alcoholic who successfully becomes sober will feel more blissful and ecstatic than someone who's unable to overcome that hurdle because he is so freaking addicted. A drug addict will be proud of himself when he sees himself getting rid of his nasty habit. A teenager who had fallen prey to smartphone addiction will feel more satisfied and exalted coming out of the web he was entangled in. The sense of achievement that you feel when you overcome your fear or your bad habits and finally do the right thing will be inexpressible in words. And once this becomes your habit, then your core center will shift from extracting pleasure doing the wrong things to enhancing yourself doing the right things. Your whole life will take a U-turn for good once you start enjoying and having fun doing the right things, speaking the truth and taking a stand where deemed necessary. And all this can and will happen only if you escalate your intelligence.